that's in Redondo or Grandma wants the good place? Grandma wants to go to the Greek place. There's nothing Greek on the menu, and she never orders Greek food off the menu, but given the choice of two restaurants, she will always pick the Greek place. Grandma is not Greek, but Grandpa was. It is from Grandpa that thick hair and poor teeth run my DNA. George owns the cozy cafe. I used to bring Grandma here, but more often I'd be here with stoner buddies. That was in the 80s. I'm visiting again and eating breakfast alone. George comes out of the kitchen. I'm on the patio. In what is neither a back rub nor a hug, he lays hands on my shoulders and gives a manly squeeze. <laughs> Guacamole omelet with cheese, he says. That is my name here. <laughs> he steps off to assemble me a spoon for a The waiter comes out of the kitchen and asks me, Coffee? Sardo toast? I nod twice. Please. The waiter is Gino, and he could be George's son, but he is not. Gino gives the impression of limited English by listening a few more seconds after you're done talking and by speaking very short sentences. <laughs> I've known a few Spanish speakers in my life who spoke this way to mask a highly sophisticated grasp of English. PhD busboys and shit. <laughs> a party of four arrives and a party of two. George touches almost all of them. The men he pats on the back or shoulder, the women he touches on the hand, giving them their menus, or making a pale joke on their way out. Listen, is this guy treating you all right? Because you know if he doesn't, and makes a fist. It's as if George's fatherly pats are part of the service here, part of the meal. He knows we could be eating the same fare up the street at Joe's. But Joe's is a larger operation. Joe's does not have a George. 